What is up guys, welcome to the Black Mirror. Now obviously, before I started this video, the first thing I did was actually make sure what the hell I was doing, and it took me quite a long time to figure this out. This stupid drawer, yeah. So we looked into this last time, and it contained absolutely jack shit, yeah, huh, yeah. <laughs> you know what else is there? A second fucking drawer, and there is actually, yeah. Yeah, you can actually click the second goddamn drawer. Hmm. It's locked. I only had a couple of things and an old camera in it as far as I recall. But where did I keep the key? I'll have a look around the room. It has to be here somewhere. Yeah, okay, Samuel, you complete balance. Let's just find a way to progress this goddamn plot. Because Jesus Christ, I've been looking all over to figure out what the hell I had to do. And now, wait, there's actually nothing here. You're kidding me, right? I didn't actually look further than this. I thought I was gonna be able there's to- quite a lot of money in it. I was gonna be able to continue, like, no problem. If I just showed you guys this, um, god damn it. So the key has to be in this room. Okay. Um, is it perhaps... This is pretty much the only place I can look, is it? There's nothing here. Is there... What is that? Is that a thing? That's not a thing. Well, fuck my ass. Um, now what? I thought I had it. Now I'm on the hunt for a key. Shit. Okay, well this is a mighty bit of an issue. I, um, hmm. I don't actually have anything to click here. I, what? There's nothing else, there's just two drawers, and washing my hands, because I'm a dirty, dirty boy, but still. What? Seriously, what? It has to be around the room, so it wouldn't make sense to exit the room, would it? Unless I go talk to the butler again. Or this idiot. We've already seen Right. Where's the goddamn key? Let's go just pester the butler. If I don't know how a thing works, then he should, because that's his fucking job. Or else I will fucking fire his ass. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Hey, buddy. 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 I have something for you. It's a task. Do you need anything, sir? Yes, a key. Hmm. Not really. I was just passing by. God damn it, Samuel. Just impose your, like snobby will upon him. Jesus Christ, he's just your, your like, pet, isn't he? So, can't you just let other people solve these puzzles for you? Jesus. Come on. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the room and actually figure this out. Door frame. I cannot see that. It's too high. Okay, just clamber on top of it, you doofus. I'll try reaching up there. Are you kidding? Are you just hiding keys in the door There's frame? Something there. Are the you key to my drawer? Are you fucking twelve? I knew it had to be somewhere in the room. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's do this. With every passing day, I hate you more and more, Samuel. Jesus Christ. It should still work. I fucking hope so. There's no film in it, and my old films are useless. Are you kidding? Every step of the way, the game just challenges me. They're too old to be used. I see. Ooh, a Bible. Yeah, you probably need that, Samuel. You might. My holy Bible. You might just repent just a little bit for all the shit you pull on the other people. Jesus. 
Uh, okay, so... It's old, but operation. This is a bit of an issue, isn't it? I'm assuming I have to use the camera to take a picture of uh, the symbol, but... It doesn't have any film, so... It's old. Yeah, that's an issue. I guess I'm gonna go around and talk to people again. Jesus. It's like fucking Big Brother's house here. What's up, man? Do you need anything? Yes. Lots of I help. I would like to ask about something. Seriously? I need film for my camera. Do you know where I can get some? Well, perhaps down in Willow Creek. But hold on, I think I may have a couple of rows myself. They should probably still be usable. Yeah, cough them up, can old man. Me one? I would be happy to. But I put them in the attic with some other old oh thing. Oh my god. It is in my chest. That's the one right round the corner. You'll have no problem finding it. But I can't Thank open you. it. I'll go pick it up. Sure. Take all the film you need. I have no use for it. I can't fucking open it. I went to the attic to get that film. I actually but didn't, but... Locked. You know, I'm still May here. I borrow <laughs> your key? Locked. I never actually oh, moved from, from the door, but, you know. About that. Sorry. Here's the key. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Thanks, mate. Thank you. I'll bring it back. I probably won't. You needn't hurry. I use it so infrequently. Oh, of course you do. Look at that fancy looking key, though. I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything. Sam Ooh, that had just like a hint of lewd. Are you inviting me to do some nasty, like, man-on-man -man stuff in your room? Because I am totally all about that. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm role-playing as Samuel, of course. I'm, I'm assuming he's all about that. He kind of looks like a perv, so... Okay, let's see. I'm assuming I'm gonna find more than just a roll of film. Right? Please let it be so. No. Hopefully, it's going to work. No, we did not just come here for a roll of film and nothing else. Fuck I that shit. Need anything else from it. You are kidding. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's fucking do this. Um, roll of film. Put it in the thing. I'm out of practice, but I guess the film is installed properly. Yeah, everything that requires you to do stuff with your hands is totally beyond the reach, isn't it, Samuel? I'm assuming I just need a camera to take a picture of the thing. The thing which I'm totally walking towards right now. And I'm totally not just stalling, talking about random crap just to get... There we go. Look at that. All I need to do now is have the film developed. No. Where do I get it developed? Oh, I forgot this was the early 90s, or the late 90s, or whatever, the 90s. We didn't have, like, smartphones and shit. Oh my god. Okay, so, I guess I'm gonna have, go have to have a chat with Robert. I'm assuming he's gonna be knowledgeable about developing this stupid film. I wouldn't know who else. Buddy? Friends? Manslave? What's up, man? I need to speak with you, Robert. Yeah, about that, oh. like, man-on-man -man action. No, wait, no. First your key. Here's your key back, Robert. Oh, thanks. Have you found what you needed? Yes, I have. Yeah, I have the thing. Robert, do you know where I can get that film you gave me developed? Hmm. I only know of Murray in Willow Creek. Seriously. I go to him myself when I need some pictures developed. He has a dark room in his pawn shop. How do you not you have a dark room in this giant goddamn yes, house? I remember that shop. Right in. I guess I should go there. Hmm. 
I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything, Samuel. Thanks, man. That doesn't sound creepy at all. Does that mean the game will finally graciously let me leave? Is that is that the whole thing? Let me see. I can actually go to Willow Creek. Look at that. Um. Yeah, is am I gonna be able to like see the road in between or what's the deal? I'm just gonna try just to make sure. What happens if I just walk off? I see, I just get back here. Okay, that makes sense. And finally. Hmm. When you were just a little princess, ordering man slaves around to, like, carry you around. Hundreds of years old. It seems to be on the verge of dying. Yeah, that willow doesn't look like in the best of days. Willow Creek. That has been the name of the village since forever. I see. Lots of willows have disappeared by now, though. So this is basically like a place in RuneScape, isn't it? Huh. Kind of looks like it, though. Launching the boats. It will be easier to cross the river using the bridge. Yeah, because you're not a boat, Samuel. I mean, I could have figured this out like by myself. The stones at the steps are damp and slippery. I know you have a fucking galaxy brain, but you don't have to like narrate every thought that comes across it. Um, what's this? A lot of filth is floating. In. Oh, the plebeian filth. Yes, how dare they. Who could be throwing things in? It's the common folk, obviously. They're they're not as sophisticated as you, a handsome money man. Um, I guess we're gonna have to, like, interact with the common folk. This is not gonna go well, is it? To the pub. There's some people here, which, um, you know, you probably shouldn't get too close to, but there you go. It's locked. I see. I don't know who lives there. Oh, it's just a random house, so why do we even bother? Jesus. Hmm. I could talk to the fisherman. Hey, man, how you doing with... Excuse me. May I speak with yes. you? Yes. Sure you can, young man. Um, I am going to talk to you about fish. This is all pleasant and normal. I am one of you. So how is it going today? I'm going to catch a big one today. I hope. If only it will rain. You mean because of the fish? Have you caught anything yet? Not a scale. My luck was much better. <laughs> Holy shit. The way he fish says that. Too smart. They won't go out of water. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I had a very nice one on the hook a while ago. But it managed to slip away in the last second. I dragged it in as far as the pier. But then it snapped my line. The biggest and oldest ones are truly cunning. They get tangled in the seaweed at the bottom. And then wait until you snap the line yourself. Why don't you fish further out in the river? My old boat has too many works. Besides, I enjoy fishing this way better. Good luck to you. I have to go now. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for I this charming conversation. About the things you do with your hands, which obviously I don't know anything about. I just love the way he's, he talks about that. Like, you haven't caught anything yet because <laughs> you kind of suck, don't you? Jesus Christ. I don't know. It's just the way Samuel is voiced. He just... I mean, he's not just a snob from, like, plot developments. He also really pushes it through his voice acting. It's It's insane. 
it's empty. I can't tell for sure if it's intentional, but goddamn. The day's menu. Road deer on the oh. Wild ball shoulder. Game oh, Jesus. I don't like game. Harry's wife always did cook well. Well, yeah, she... I, uh, you know, I'm not gonna disagree, but I'm not a big fan of game, so... Maybe I'll have something later. I'm not hungry yet. Hmm. Okay, before we obviously go bribe the kid with our candy, I'm gonna see what else there is around. It's full of dirty water. Ooh. Maybe Harry puts it under the gutter when it's raining. I see. I could use emptying. I could like use. I don't have anything. Never mind. Clean towels from the kitchen, no doubt. Yes, let's go Google the people's laundry. That is not creepy at all. No. Anything else? Anything before I start oogling the creepy child? Or like, creepily oogling the child? Whatever works. Hey, child! I see you, like, don't have money and stuff. Hi, what's your name? I won't tell you that. I must not talk to strangers. That's a very good idea, man. Has forbidden me. So? Will you tell me your name if I tell you Oh, mine? Jesus, that is... No, I don't know you. Pedo 101. Have you got some sweets? Maybe some chocolate? Oh, that is Pedo 102. Jesus, okay, fuck it, let's do it, I guess, but... God Would damn. Like some sweets? This is a very sure. bad idea, Samuel. That would be great. Are they chocolate? I don't really know. They are, you dipshit. My name is Samuel Gordon. Will you tell me your name too? Well... Why not then? I'm Vic. Do you know of anything interesting going on around here? I haven't been in this place in a very long time. Hmm. Probably not. No. Nothing much happens here. This village is terribly boring, you know. Oh, I could find I a way see. to have you some fun. Can I go play again? Of course. Watch out for the windows. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, Samuel is totally a perv. Here, have this picture of a random dude. Vic, have you ever seen the man in this picture? Let me see. No, I guess I haven't. I would have surely remembered that one. He looks pretty stupid. Why are you looking for him, Samuel? Are you related? Oh, snap. You had better watch your mouth. <laughs> Come on, that was just a joke. <laughs> Samuel immediately gets offended by a child's joke. Um, okay, so obviously what we have to do... Oh, I gave the kid my candy. God damn it, kid. Okay. I have left. Yeah, so we talked to the kid. That's, that's something. We gave him the candy, but it didn't really do anything, did it? Kid, I am going to smack you until you spit that candy out again, because god damn... The lids are firmly shut. I see. These are certainly still full of beer. Hmm. Oh, come on, Samuel. Just do a kickstand. Come on, you can do it. The Black Bison, Harry's own production. Hmm. KDM Transport Services. It's probably used for carrying beer kegs. I see. Can I cross the bridge? Uh, obviously, I need to go in, but I kind of want to see... I kind of have this memory of not being able to cross the bridge. Oh, I can. Never mind. Never mind. So what I'm going to do is go back and first head into the pub. Just to see what the people are saying. Greetings, lads. Um... Yeah, your lord and master has arrived, so can you guys, like, bow down before me or something? I, I, I don't know how this works, but... Uh, let's... Let's see, we have Tom, and we have Harry, and we have something else in between. Go out. Poster. Poster. Wait, there was something about a poster. There we go. An advertising poster. About what, dummy? Harry has been collecting old posters like these. I, t uh, I see. So you're not gonna, like, explain what's on it. I can't really see that from here. Is that Corona? I, I don't... can't tell. 
Fuck it, let's just talk to Harry. Good morning. Hello to you, fine man servants. Hello, hello, sir. Um, did you know I am very, very rich? I haven't been here in a long time. What can you tell me about the manor? Well, I'm not sure where to begin, but really, there isn't much in the way of news. Hold on. You seem familiar to me. Haven't we met at the winter feasts? No. No, I don't think so. But I do know you. See, I'm pretty good with faces. What about last month during the vintage? Is that it? Listen, no. I... Have you been to the yeah, Pride Parade? Yeah, I know. You probably owe me something and aren't comfortable with my having recognized you, right? I owe you nothing. <laughs> How dare you, you say even Harry? say such a thing? Tom, this young lad here is calling me Harry, but he says he doesn't know me. Don't let him annoy you, sir. He's been trying that on strangers for as long as I remember. Oh, I just I see. Is that a problem with the fact that I want me money back? Yeah, just give him there his money. God damn it, Samuel. Making those debts up. Bah. Indeed. You're the right one to say that. Should I show you your last month's bill? <laughs> right, right. Calm down. <laughs> and Samuel just sort of standing there like a knob. This young fellow here <laughs> because he's a stranger and he doesn't know Totally not at all a joke. Okay, I've had enough. One more word and you're not getting a pint of water on credit. Or, let me tell you what, I'll pour you nothing until you pay off the whole debt. Come on, Harry, don't be a cheapskate. Listen, if you let me finish, I'll tell you who I am. <laughs> Please just shut Sounds up, you plebs. Great. I'm listening. I am Samuel Gordon, the son of Randall Gordon, of Castle Black Mirror. Why didn't you say so right away? Well, I tried to, but you wouldn't actually Yeah, let how me speak. dare you? Okay, well, that gives things a nice twist. A Gordon is always welcome here. So, what can I get you? Today, we have smoked venison on the menu, mm. along with a good staff beer. No, uh, thanks. Maybe later. I'd like to ask a... Oh, thanks. Questions. I wouldn't enjoy having your grubby hands oh, all over sure. it. Jesus Christ. Samuel fucking stiff as a board. These guys are just ribbing. Samuel completely plain, blank faced, completely poker faced. Like, what the hell is going on? Is this how humans interact? Okay, let's see. So, first, let's talk about Black Mirror. Harry, what's new in the village? Things happen, but there isn't much news. How should I understand that? Well, I hear a lot of gossip, but nothing worth mentioning. You see, we all know one another here, so nothing's too interesting. Maybe that's going to change now. Yeah, I'll let you know when it does. Harry, until what time are you open? Well, that depends. Because I want to get fucking wasted, yo. You see, I don't sleep much. And when I'm not doing something, I'm usually pretty bored. But not many folks show up so late, do they? I usually play cards with Tom here. Hmm. Or I play chess with myself. Oh, you play chess? Oh, I'd say I <laughs> a pleb that play plays well chess. All those long nights. Like a monkey Let's playing the play guitar. Let's together sometime then. Sure. Hmm. I love how surprised Samuel is by like some worker man playing chess. Jesus Christ. I remember William bringing me here. Yep, so do I. He was a serious poker player, you know. Ooh, I love Incredibly poker. lucky with the cards. He would totally clear us out. But then, he would return everything. <sighs> yeah, he was a nice bloke. That's a real shame he stopped coming here. Yeah, because he's kind of dead. Why? Wait, no. Who knows? We were all on good terms. But the last six months, he didn't show up once. Well... It's a bit of a distance, and at his age. Nah, I wouldn't say that was the reason. William was always a tough old gent. I'll tell you something, though. They say he wouldn't even come out of the castle, and instead locked himself away in the old tower to study some old volumes and stuff. Where did you hear that? Well, I told you. 
I hear things from time to time. Yeah, that's how ears work, you, you dumbass. Nothing. But maybe Mark knows something. He used to help out in the manor garden. Where can I find him? He would normally be here by now. So he's probably not going to turn up today. Oh, fucking convenience. I'll ask him some other time. As if William was hiding something. No shit. I have to know more about the last months of his life. Are you still questioning whether William was hiding something? Um, does that actually, maybe that makes sense because we obviously saw the introduction cutscene, but that was unbeknownst to everybody else. Okay, so maybe that makes sense that they don't really know what the fuck William was up to. Um, hmm. Right, do I have anything more to say to the plebs? Any news, Harry? Take your time, man. Nothing special. I'll be back. Or we'll be Whenever, back. Mr. Gordon. How about Tom? Does Tom have anything to say? Or am I gonna have to buy him a beer? Hello. I could actually buy you a beer. I'm Hello. very, very rich. Have I told you I'm very rich? Like, you know, exceedingly so. Much more than you. Like, specifically. How long have you been sitting here? A few hours, I guess. Why do you want to know? Um... Did you have a job? That's my way of saying hello, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm a bit of an awkward I've douche. I've been here for two or three hours. I've got nothing to do today. Why don't you take a chair? No, thank you. Maybe some other time. No, thanks. I wouldn't want to get, like, um... The common aids. How long have you owed Harry money? That's my business, not yours. <laughs> Jesus. Or do you want to pay up for me? Should I? Uh. Well, I overheard your conversation about old Sir William. Sure. Do you know anything that might be interesting to me? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. My memory is fogging up. It's probably the okay, first, Okay, come you know? on. Bring this man oh, many, many beers. I see. I know where he's coming from. No. I'll pay off his debt, and then I'll ask again. Right. Um. Wait, but I could talk to him about other things. If you want something from me, of course. Right. Right. Let's do that first. Hey, buddy. I have many, many monies. Here. Take my fucking wallet. No. I could just buy another wallet. It's no big deal. Change your mind about the dinner. My Mary makes some wonderful meals. Everyone around here will tell you that. I believe you. I'm just not hungry yet. I would like to ask a couple of questions, though. Okay, feel free. Right, so about uh, that dude. Will you change your mind about that debt of Tom's? It's partly my fault, you know. I'd be glad to, but then he wouldn't pay it off next month either. They say he who doesn't pay should not drink. Mm. Well, there is some truth to that. Yeah, in other words, the poor people don't deserve like their f spare time and like having a drink. I have decided to pay off Tom's debt. But why would you want to do that, Mr. Gordon? Because I, I am a generous to... man. Could you sum it up? Mm. Okay, well, as you wish. At 17 pounds. All right. Oh, that's just yeah. loose change. That's fine. You know how it goes with rich people. Well, I've no idea what Tom might have promised you, but you better not believe him. That's none of your business. No, yeah, really. So what is his bill like now? All clear. Good. That's just how it goes with rich people. We just do things from the bottom of our hearts. There is no real intent. What do you want from me? I'd just like to ask about something. All right. I want to ask you about the fact that... Wait, hold on. Let me first talk about all the other things. Tell me, is anything interesting going on in the village? Here? No. In fact, I don't remember anything interesting ever happening around here. Of course you don't. In Willow Creek, nothing ever changes. I saw a fisherman on the shore on my way here. 
Do you know him? Oh, Jim? Of course I know him. He's my uncle from my mother's side. I see. Is he always sitting there, fishing? He appears to have been sitting there the whole day. Yeah. He's the most patient person I've ever known. He spends hours on that pier just sitting. I wouldn't last a single hour, you know. Um, well, in any case, um, you know, you can rest easy about your goddamn debt. I have done what you have asked. Now it's your turn. Right, I heard you. I guess you have done me a good turn. So, what do you know about William? I'll tell you what I've heard. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm listening. People have said that from time to time, Sir William would go to the vicarage at night. That's all? What's so strange about him going to church? Nothing much, I'd guess, if it hadn't been late after midnight. Hmm. Oh. That is strange indeed. Just ask the gravedigger or the vicar. They both saw him. But don't mention me if you decide to go see him. Yeah, that's I fine, man. I didn't know that I told you anything. Oh, thank you. So I'm assuming there is something skeevy going on in this village. I need to speak with Mark. You probably know each other. Yeah, we've known each other for years, but he's not here today. Do you know where he works? I would like to go see him. Mark only works when he must. He hasn't got a permanent job. But try old Murray. Or Herman. He does something for both of them from time to time. I see. So, how's it going? All right, I guess. Why don't you take a chair? I'm a little short on time. Uh, some other day, perhaps. Yeah, I don't sit Never with the mind. rabble. Never mind, I'm used to drinking alone. You know how it goes. Um, at the very least, I need, like, a golden lace throne. Okay, I'm off, and I will see what else the village has to offer. I'm assuming... Wait, do I actually even have a lead? The only real lead I have is basically to go to the church. The old fish market. I see. I remember when old Mr. Fenton died. There was no one to take care of the fish market. I don't know what is there now, and I'm not interested. Of course you're not interested. Hmm. Oh. Ten minutes to two. The time is not correct. It probably doesn't work at all. I see. It's broken. A broken clock. Great, so this village is basically going to shit. Davison, William's friend and lawyer, lived here. He moved away a long time before Catherine died. He always said he wouldn't be able to do much around here as a lawyer. Yeah, I, I kind of was imagining. With his family. I have not heard of him since. Being a lawyer in a village, probably not the best of ideas. I have no clue as to who lives in Davison's house today. I'll just go in. Don't you, like, basically own the place? I have no reason. Hmm. Okay, what's up with the boat? Can I sort of shove it off to... Oh, I can leave here, I see. It probably belongs to that fisherman I spoke to. Hmm. Can I rifle through trash? I'm assuming Samuel is not gonna want to. Old cardboard boxes, damp from the rain. This is probably where Murray throws out what he no longer needs. I see. So this is Murray's. Before I go in, I'm gonna have a look here. Private house. <laughs> Let's just knock anyways. As because of the corona, man. You know, social distancing and shit. Yeah. Various objects. Porcelain statues, gold watches, breast pins. Mostly trinkets. Hmm. Can I actually go in? There's nothing interesting there. The way you're looking, it kind of feels like it's not open. The door is locked. God damn it. 
there is a sign that reads, I'll be right back, Murray. I see. But who knows if it hasn't been hanging here for a week already. Hmm. The shop is closed. The shop is... I guess uh, the only I, leave we have. I won't leave just yet. Wait, no, what? Come on, buddy. We only have one lead, and it's. It's a fucking vicar. God damn it, just when I thought I knew what to do, the game just throws a curveball. I guess I'm gonna go talk to the people again. Vic, have you seen Murray today? His shop is closed. Why should I care about his shop? Why? Is there a problem? Well, that old man doesn't like me hanging around that shop of his. Or rather around those glass cases. I've got no idea what his problem is. Hmm. I may have one. Oh. Oh. I do remember seeing him leave this morning. Do you have an idea when he will be returning? Judging by how he sharped himself up, he must have gone into town. So he's probably not going to return before tomorrow. I see. So that means. Oops. What was Are that? you stupid brats? It's gotta be my fault, isn't it? Vic, I know it was you, and I know you can hear me. Just you wait till I catch you. I'll beat you within an inch Holy of your life. Holy shit! He has delicious child God. abuse. Now I'll have to clean up all this mess. Hmm. I suspect Vic is not going to show up for a while. No. I'm assuming this is the way. The game's way of saying, you know, you no longer need this NPC. Hey, buddy, what the fuck happens? Um. Wait, there's n not actually anything different, is there? Can I talk to you guys about the missing pawn shop man? What will it be, sir? I'd like to ask about something. Sure, go ahead. I came upon a closed pawn shop. Is it ever open? Sure. <laughs> Does the, the man would ever do his job? Without a reason. He probably had to leave. Some business of his own, no doubt. You don't speak well of him. Not many do. Everyone knows he's an old sly boots. The only thing he cares about is cheating people in that old junk shop. But what would you expect from an old cheapskate? Hmm. I see. Does Tom have the same thing to say? Hello, sir. Will you sit down? No, no fuck no. I really can't. Maybe some other time. Never mind. I'm used to drinking alone. Yeah, I don't... Later then. See you. I see. We don't actually have anything to say. Okay, so maybe I should talk to the fisherman? Or maybe having the kid disappear on me was enough to progress the storyline. Buddy? Excuse me, may I speak with you? Sure you can, young man. Okay, about uh, the thing. How are you? Have you stopped for a talk? I'd like to ask you a question. I need something from the pawn shop on the other side of the river, but it's closed. Yeah, that's possible. Have you any idea when Murray opens the shop? No, I haven't. I don't care what he does. I must go now. Well, that was very helpful. I'm assuming now I can actually head out, right? I've talked to everybody. I know that... Uh, the church is in some way important, so I'm assuming now I can leave. Yeah. And we can actually head to the vicarage. Um, I've been running for... Yeah, I could probably fit this in. The Wormhill Parish. Right. Hmm. 
That's actually a very nice looking church. It looks very pretty. I love churches. I've always loved... Um, like the dominant structures, the gothic... Cathedral building. I just... You know... There's something to be said about wasting your money on frivolous things, especially if you're a religion, but still, it looks fucking awesome. Yeah, that's fine. Um, hmm. So I can enter the church, and I can obviously hear somebody over here. Let's see, what do we have? Its branches are stretching over the graves. Yeah, that's kind of neat, actually. Do we have any graves that are useful? Hmm. The names carved in stone are no longer legible. Well, then, what's the point of having these graves? William's grave. Ooh, shit! We can actually head to William's grave. That is amazing. I'm sure that's gonna be relevant somehow. He's gonna be buried with something very important, like a plot MacGuffin. Hmm. One of the crypts of our family. I don't even know who's buried in it. No. William Gordon. He wow, okay. Like seven eight seventy eight. God damn. William will rest in this cold grave forever. He's not actually that old in today's standards, is he? Even if I go through hell for it. Yeah, sure thing, man. We're gonna figure this shit out. I am actually kinda curious. As much of a bullshit artist um Samuel is, I I am kind of interested what this game has to offer in terms of stories, so... The tomb of Jeremy Gordon. Your dad? Is that your dad? I, I'm not too sure. In any case, I guess we go back and go talk to the gravedigger. Let's see, he should be around here. <laughs> Look at Samuel Sontroff, like... Come on, buddy. I ain't got all day. There we go, okay. Gravedigger. And it seems like that is the only thing left to do, uh, apart from heading in. Good afternoon. Have you time for a little talk? I never hurry anywhere, unlike everyone else around here. I'm yeah, interested of course. in learning about the parish and this cemetery. I think you're the right man to ask. Maybe. I've been helping Father Frederick for many years now. I know the names on all the Of graves. course the Gravedigger is what a creepy fuck. Know? They always are, aren't they? Nancy, we can talk about many things. Tell me. How old is this parish? No one knows how old exactly, but this cemetery and church are much older than anything in the neighborhood. A long time ago, they used to bury heretics here. They say there's a system of corridors under the cemetery where the souls of the innocent wander looking for a way out. You know, I've seen quite a lot all these years here, but... For instance? Well, it was a long time ago, but some years back I heard something like the voice of a child in the distance. It was moaning and singing verses. At first I thought it was just an illusion, but then I could no longer contain my curiosity and went outside to have a look. I followed the sound of the voice, but the closer I got, the less audible the voice became. Maybe it was just a child playing nearby. Two hours after midnight? I don't think so. Plus, 
Look around, there are graves far and wide. Hmm. But that's past now. I have no idea what it was, and I do not want to know. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Yeah, you just sort of went off on a tangent, buddy. I've already told you enough. Don't tell anyone about this. I don't want to look like an old fool. Yeah, if people start looking like an old fool, I might get him fired, so you probably shouldn't tell too much to Samuel. You said you have known Father Frederick for many years. What can you tell me about him? Father Frederick is the best man I know. He took me in when I was orphaned and raised me as his son. For that, I will be grateful to him for the rest of my life. And I will be around to help him as long as I am able to. But if you want to talk to him, you will have to wait until he returns from the neighboring manor. I see. Thanks. Wow, this is some very old school shit. Like, still having manors around. With dedicated churches and priests that go to other manors. Holy shit, this is some real old school shit. Tell me. What is your name, actually? Mine? No one calls me anything other than Gravedigger. Father Frederick's Gravedigger. And I don't mind if you have questions about it. It's true, anyway. And you are a Gordon, right? Yes, Samuel Gordon. So you're the grandson of old Mr. Williams? Why is the screen sort of... Yes. I saw you at the funeral. I kind of get the feeling there's something... Of course. ...shifting. Did you know William? No, not personally. I would see him from time to time, though. He used to go inside the church. How often? Hmm. Not that often, but when he did show up, he was always in a hurry. As if he knew he didn't have much time left. Did he ever speak with you? No, I told you, I did not know him well. But he would speak with Father Frederick, wouldn't he? You will have to ask Father that yourself. Sure, and very Thanks. conveniently, very conveniently the Father is not here. As with everything in this game, you want to do a thing, but the thing is not there, so you have to like, sort of circumvent and walk around and, ugh, until the thing is available. I've heard that you sometimes saw William come to the vicarage late at night. Is that true? Who told you that? That's not important. So is it true? I don't care to talk about it. I don't want to look for problems. Whatever you tell me will stay just between us. Yeah, you can totally have my word. I think I can trust you, but since you're a Gordon, I'll tell you what I've seen. Jesus Christ. Everyone who knew old Sir William thought he was a bit of a madman. Please don't get offended. And later, when he refused to see anyone, the gossip began floating about. I'm telling you this so that you know I'm not making up what I'm going to tell you next. Go on. I first saw him here some six months ago. I was sitting in my cabin about to go to bed. I saw a light. It was someone approaching the church. In the 20 years that I've been working here, no one has ever come here this late. So I went outside to check out what was going on. I saw a figure concealed in a dark coat walking among the graves. He was looking for something, his head down to the ground. Was it William? At that moment I had no idea who it was. I couldn't see his face in the darkness. He spent some twenty minutes there going round mumbling something. What was he saying? Well, I observed him from a distance. It wasn't audible. So, what happened next? The church door opened. And he made for it right away. I cautiously followed him. Father Frederick was standing in the doorway. It seemed as if he was expecting that person. It was only then I realized it was Sir William because I was close enough to recognize his voice. He and the father had a long conversation then, and Sir William was waving his hands vigorously about during most of it. They finally went inside, and that is all I saw. 
Do you know anything more? I never stick my nose in other people's business. Yeah, it doesn't sound like Thanks it. Thanks for telling me this. I only told you because you're Sir William's grandson. Now leave me alone. I have to finish my work here. Wait, was there was not something else? Father Frederick in the middle of the night. Yeah, there was something else. I can talk about the church. May I have a look inside the church? You have to wait for Father Frederick to return. The church is going to stay locked until then. But you can open it, can't you? It doesn't matter. It's going to stay locked, as Father Frederick ordered. I see. So the church is going to be something, something very important to the plot. It's going to be the MacGuffin building. The church is locked. As it is in like many many horror adventure games, the church is the MacGuffin. The church is locked. See also Gabriel Knight. Um, yeah, I'm assuming that's about everything I can do for now. Uh, I don't really have any big clues. I think I'm just supposed to figure out how to make time pass. And I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming I'm just going to have to go back to the manor. But I will do that next time, and I will see you guys for that.